my name is Robin Flynn and I'm just going to share with you today my second brain which is where I store all of the resources that I come across as a bookkeeper. Um, it's just nice to put it somewhere and somewhere that's accessible and I can find easily. So I'm just going to do a quick run through and show you how I have this set up. So the first thing you'll notice is that I've got different areas. So this is admin and I've just got a custom field for admin and advisory. I've got apps and I can change this by clicking on them and choosing which area I want them to relate to. And that sort of keeps them all sorted nicely if I want to, so if I know what I'm looking for. The other thing that I have is a resource type. So I've got books, checklists, podcasts, and again, I can change those just by clicking here and choosing a different resource type. And I've got resource authors. And then I have a short summary. Now, this is done using AI. I'm using ClickUp to manage this. You can use there's so many different ways you can do it but I'm just showing you how I do it in ClickUp um, so this just gives it a quick summary and if I'm looking at something I can just click on there and quickly read over what it is that this is about and to update these I just click on this and that will then generate all of these summaries for me So that's quick and easy to keep up to date. The way that I've set it up is so that I can just click straight into a PDF and view it on my screen. So if I come down to, I've got conferences here. This is my ICB summit manual from 2024. I can just click on that and it opens up straight away on the page in front of me. Oh, actually, it's probably going to take a little while because it's, it's, a, it's a long one. Um, but there you can see that there. So I like that because I don't have to actually click into the task. I can just click and view it straight from straight on the PDF on my screen. And the other way is just to click on a link. So I don't know if there's, um, let me see a link that doesn't have a paywall. Sorry, as an ICB member, I've, um, yeah, I just don't want to click on something that I can't open up without putting my password in. Um, but this one's travel expenses for a sole trader. Um, and you can see I've got a PDF here. This is from the tax office. So I've got a PDF and I've also got um, a link to it. So if I click on that link, it opens straight up in that page. So I find it just a really useful way to be able to um, just keep track of all of the things that I come across, webinars um, and just different resources. You will see if I scroll down to the very bottom. And here, let me just keep going. I've got to read and process. So I don't process them all straight away. When I come in, I just put them I allocate them a resource area to read and process and then I can come in here and do that at a later date when I've got time. So that is how I generally look at um, all of my resources. I do have it sorted also by the type of resource. So if I know that it's a book that I'm wanting to look for or if I know it's a checklist that I'm after, I can just come to this view and have a look depending on what it is that I'm looking for and I also have this one here which is just missing fields so these ones haven't been um, processed yet but once I do I can once I um, put in the resource author which in this case would be zero uh, let me see and the resource type this was a webinar um, where are we? Conference or webinar? And then it it disappears like um, 
yeah, so that now no longer needs to be processed. So that's how I sort of go through maybe once a day or once every few days. I just come in here and just read, you know, what it is and just allocate it. I do have it set up as a board as well. Really like this. It looks really nice, but I find that it's just not the best way for me to look for information. But if if your mind is that you like looking at things as a board, you can certainly have it set up as a board and it does look really good. It's just I find that having it as a list works better for me. Now you will notice that I have got this linked documents here. So these all link through to my SOPs. So I have written standard operating procedures just for different things in my business. And I, when I write them, I like to reference where I got that information from. And so most of the time that will be to a resource that I've got in my second brain. So let me just find, actually I'll pop over here. Here's one, which is my payroll tax. So this is my, these are all my SOPs, <laughs> got quite a few. Um, and this one is on payroll tax. So you can see, I think I've actually taken this from ICB, um, but you can see I've got the objective. This is the process. Then I've got procedural documents needed. I can put them in there if I need to, or a scribe if there's any checklists and also any links. So I do have links out to ICB and I've also got links to my second brain here. But if I scroll up to the very top, you can see up here, here are the, the links to all of the different places in my second brain where I have got resources. So if I am reading through this and I need some more information, I can just click on this and it will take me here. So this is the payroll tax checklist and it's an ICB um, resource because they are great. Um, and I can click on that and go through. So hopefully that's, that has helped you. Um, I think I probably will just say one more thing when I'm doing an SOP, like when I'm writing one, what I would do is, um, and this is a test one here, like payroll tax for Victoria. Um, the way that I would do it is, this is a template that I've got. So I would just put this template in and then I would come over here to my second brain and have a look for what it is that I might want to, or might be able to use for my um, the SOP that I'm writing. So if there's, I think there was a payroll tax checklist here. So there it is there, end of financial year payroll tax checklist. And then what I do is click on this and then I add it to that document that I was just in. So that payroll tax um, Victoria test, I just click and add it. I think I've already added it once, but anyway, it's in there a second time now. So all of the different um, areas or resources that I might want to use. I just click on this and then add it to the doc. Um, and then when you pop back to your SOP that you're writing, it will have the link sitting up here. So you can sort of go through, write it, come back, check in on all of the different resources that you've decided that you will be using to write the SOP. And um, yeah, just write the SOP out and then you're good to go. I think there was um, one other thing I wanted to show you and that was just how I search. So for instance, if I was looking for something and it was on payroll tax, I would just come over to this search pod here and type, um, and type payroll tax. And then it's come up with anything that's got payroll tax in it. So obviously this initial business review references payroll tax. Um, this one obviously has the word payroll tax in it and these ones all do too, except for this leave plus reporting, but that obviously also has the words payroll tax in it, which is why it's come up. 
So that makes it quick and easy to be able to um, reference your SOP. So in this case, again, if I was writing an SOP on payroll tax, I would do a search for payroll tax, look through and go, okay, um, I want to add this one. I want to do how to reconcile payroll tax, which ICB have done. They've got a template for it. So let's add that. Um, I would go, what is payroll tax? That's by ICB. It's a link. Let's add that. And again, another payroll tax um, checklist. So it's quite easy to have a look for your res the resources that you want to use. Just um, link them to your SOP that you're writing and then jump into your SOP and you would have those all listed across there and then you could start writing. So hopefully that's been helpful for you. Um, if there's anything that you're interested in seeing, if you want to have a look um, closer at my um, standard operating procedures, I'm happy to share that. If you want me, if you've got questions on how I use my second brain, I'm more than happy to answer questions on that. And I am setting up a, um, a template as well that I'll probably be, I might pop it on Etsy or I'll be selling that as well so that you could have this exact resource if you're using ClickUp. Even if you're not using ClickUp, if you just want a great place to store your resources, this could be an option for you. Um, yeah, so I will have that available as well. So you could just um, upload my template into your ClickUp and then start adding in all of your resources. So hopefully that's been helpful for you. Thank you.